Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus. Today's discussion is in the Holy Trinity in the Old Testament playlist of this YouTube channel and is entitled Isaiah chapter 48. Before we begin a short prayer, a blessing, honor, glory, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the triune God to be filled with the Holy Spirit, so I am empowered to speak truth without error and to interpret Holy Scripture correctly. All truth comes from God, and he errors are my own. I also pray that you, the listener, may likewise be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that any truth I speak or any scripture that I interpret correctly is welcomed into your heart, your mind, and your soul. Now let us begin the discussion. We're going to look at the book of the major prophet Isaiah, and we're going to go through in the entirety chapter 48. So let's begin. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. For they call themselves the holy city, and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is an iron sinew, and thy brow brass. Questions. Who does the ye of verse 1 and the themselves and they of verse 2 refer to? Those of the house of Jacob and Israel. Who does the I and the my of verses 3 to 4 and the his of verse 2 refer to? The Lord God. Who does the thou and thy of verse 4 refer to? The house of Jacob and Israel. Now I'm doing this because I want to go through very uh, closely every single verse and the pronouns in them because we're going to see the Trinity in a verse and, we, and I'm doing this to, to that there's no doubting of who is speaking in each particular verse. So humor me and pay attention. You can go back and look and make sure that I did everything correctly. Continuing, verses 5 to 8. I have, even from the beginning, declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee, lest thou should say, Mine idol hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. Thou hast heard see all this, and will not declare it. I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou heardest them not, lest thou shouldest say, Behold, I knew them. Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not, yea, from the time that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously, and wast called a transgressor from the womb. Questions. Who does the I of verses 5 to 6 and 8 refer to? The Lord God. Who does the mine and my of verse 5 the thee, thine, and thou of verses 5 to 8, and the I of verse 7 refer to, the house of Jacob and Israel. Continuing, verses 9 to 12. For my name's sake will I defer mine anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted, and I will not give my glory unto another? Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. Questions. Who does the I, me, mine, and my of verses 9 to 12 refer to? The Lord God. Who does the thee of verses 9 and 10 refer to? The house of Jacob and Israel. Continuing. Verses 13 to 16. Now you're going to see the point. Mine hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I call upon them, they stand up together. All ye assemble yourselves, and hear, which among them hath declared these things? The Lord hath loved them. He will do his pleasure on Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. I, even I, have spoken, yea, I have called him. I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Come ye near unto me, hear ye this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, there am I. And now the Lord God and his Spirit hath sent me. Uh-oh. The Lord God and his Spirit hath sent me. The Lord God, one person, the Father, and his Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and another person, hath sent me. Who's this third person? Questions. Who does the I, mean, mine, and my, verses 13 and 15 to 16, refer to? The Lord God. Who does the them and ye, of verses 14 and 16, refer to? Those of the house of Jacob and Israel. Who does the him, of verses 15, 14 and 15, refer to? Probably to the prophet Isaiah. Questions. Why can't the I and me of verse 16 refer to the prophet Isaiah, which is what some people say? Because it says, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning, from the time that it was there am I. 
So Isaiah was in secret from the beginning. Isaiah was there from the time that it was. That's, that's eternity past. That's a divine being. Which person, the triune God, must the I and me, of verse 16, therefore refer to? It must be the second person, the triune God, the Son, the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. Continuing. 17 to 19, forgive the typo. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teaches thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. O oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments, then had, thy pe- then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also has, uh, had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels like the gravel thereof. His name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Questions. What? Who does the I, me, mine, and my, verses 17 through 19, refer to? The Lord God. Who does the thee, thou, and thy, verses 17 to 19, refer to? The house of Jacob and Israel. Who does the his, of verses 17 to 19, refer to? The seed of the house of Jacob and Israel. Continuing and finishing, verses 20 to 22. Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing, declare ye, tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth, say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. Questions. Who does the ye of verse 20 refer to? Those of the house of Jacob and Israel. Who does the he of verse 21 refer to? If you look at it, it's most likely the prophet Moses, because he's the one who clave, clave the rock. You know, from the, being, being instructed to do so by the Lord God, of course. Who does the rock of verse 21 refer to? We know who that is. Again, the second person, the triune God, the Son, the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. Who might peace of verse 22 refer to? Again, the second person, the triune God, the Son, the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. Look at Genesis 49.10, when the Messiah is called the Shiloh, which refers to peace. Also, if you look earlier, there's references to the right arm of God, which is also uh, considered to be the Son, the second person, the triune God, the pre-incarnate Jesus Christ. I pray, spoke truth, and interpreted Holy Scripture correctly, so that this discussion might have been a blessing to you, the listener. All truth comes from God. Any errors were my own. If it was a blessing to you, I would greatly appreciate it. If you could like, comment, share it, subscribe to the channel. Lord willing, we shall meet again. May the Holy Trinity bless us all.